I thought we'd start with the smallest group, small but perfectly formed, over here. And you, this row, if we remember, and I hope you've stuck to task, was looking at the high-level meeting, aka political prioritization. So, Mark, could we ask you to give us a little bit of an insight? What, what was the highlight that came from, from your group? What, what, made you, what made you laugh? What made you cry? What was exciting about this discussion, the four powerhouses on this table? Well, it was a good discussion. Um, I think what we looked at with the, with the high-level meeting is that really one of the strengths is that it, it, the access to both the, the finance and the water sector. And we're looking at this as, as an iterative process, starting off with, you, you know, this is the second, second time it's happened, so getting people in the room is the first step, then getting in the opportunity to brief, and then getting the opportunity to start moving towards commitment. And now it needs to go further in terms of looking at measuring the progress on that commitment, monitoring, and really getting into a situation where we can have some sort of joint accountability to something relatively simple, relatively visual, that, that, that can be publicly shared about how these commitments are, are, are working so that it's not all on the back of the, the, the water sector, it's not all on the back of the finance sector, but there's some sort of mutual accountability. Um, the other thing in terms, we, we, t we talked a bit about regional processes and whether there was a linkage or not. We thought there, there could be in some instances, it would depend on what regional, uh, regional processes were already in place. We didn't think it was, there was, a, it was a good idea to create new regional processes. Uh, but, but to build on, on existing processes. Did I miss anything else? Okay, great. And that's uh, been a theme that's r been running through the session uh, all afternoon, which is building on existing, existing processes. So it's good to hear that echoed back uh, in, in this small group. Coming over to the, your, your sister group, the, which is much bigger. Um, do you have a rapport? This, this gentleman, your name is... Stanley, right, you're ready. So can you give us one really exciting, terrifically new, game-changing recommendation? Can you do that? You want to. <laughs> it's, not, it's not a negotiation. This is, this is not a democracy, okay? You can give me one, and that's it. Okay, go for it, Stanley. Okay, all right. So since they talk about strength, and it's not too different from ours, we'll talk about um, the weakness. And we are saying that there's been several uh, commitments by the HLM group um, on v in various um, fora, and um, how we think that it would be difficult to to track, or we need to track, and we need to harmonise. And I think it is a, a bit risky because uh, there are several commitments, and um, yeah. as to whether they will be serious with the implementation. Um, that's what we think is a is a, is a weakness. But then, if you give me the opportunity, I'll go on to the second one. Uh, okay. Well, as long as, it, as long as it's going to be really terrifically exciting. Look, nobody will have heard it before. And people are going to go away and say, this is the one big thing I needed to hear in Stockholm Waterwick. No pressure. Stanley. Okay. With, um, with the last two questions, uh, we thought of putting them together. And we are saying that if the regional HLMs should be considered, then there should be some um, coordination, I think, briefly. Okay, thank you. Short and sweet and to the point. Okay, I'm going to move sort of seamlessly upstream to the middle row, which was focusing on uh, country-level processes. Um, Sam, are you, who's, who's, who's the scribe on this group? And is there, is there one, one big thing that you want to share with the group or one one thing that made you all cry or, or laugh out loud during your discussion. Okay, well, Germans are very, very unemotional, so we are not crying and we're not loving it. Um, <laughs> what I will do is I will do it the German way. So I, we have um, discussed in this short time four main messages, which I will just list, and then I hand over my f the mic to one of my colleagues who might like to add some more details to what I just will, you know, give it in a very... Uh, abstract way. So we said uh, we focused on this uh, question: What role should? Um, nee. So how do we allocate TA uh, resources better, and what would we like to see the money uh, flowing to, um, coming under the NPRI process or the SWI process, and how do we support uh, the budget allocation or the 
donor allocation banner. So we would like to see um, TA supporting better public visibility of the commitments done by the countries and we would like to see, it would be the second message, we would like to see a strong linkage um, of the support um, to the planning process and uh, strong linkage from what is committed in the country commitments to the planning process of the sector planning uh, process. We would like to see, and this will be the third message, um, um, funding going to best practice, documentation, knowledge manage management with a, with a very strong focus on documentation of processes. And we would like to see if there is any change in monitoring of um, sector progress. We would like to see a better equity focus. Not only X percentage have access, but we would like to see a very detailed equity uh, analysis looking into economic quintiles. These were the four main um, outcomes of our discussion. I would like to hand over now um, to my colleague, maybe elaborating a little bit more on the documentation of processes when it comes to best practice and knowledge management. Okay, uh, a very short uh, follow-up. I think that was a good uh, summary, but we were talking particularly about what is the value added, potentially, of SWA in the way that it operates at country level through the MPRI. And I think uh, we were saying that um, what we tend to document is the outcomes, as Clarissa was saying, uh, we're not very good at documenting uh, the processes that got us there. And in particular, we're not very good at documenting how the different stakeholders work together to overcome really difficult problems. And I think that would be a huge potential added value along the lines of, of what was done in Liberia. Great. They were fantastic comments. Process, uh, process documentation, I think, extremely important. So thank you uh, for excellent work on that group. How did this group do? We have a scribe, which is excellent. You're all looking a little bit nervous. There's no need to be nervous. It's okay. Um, you know, you've got some, some big shoes to fill because we've had some real game-changing recommendations. So what's going to be your game-changing recommendation? And we're on monitoring. You did monitoring, right? Okay. Yes, I think we did monitoring. Um, well, we're going to keep it short and sweet. And what we were recommending is that... Um, the role we can see SWA playing is pulling together the different, the key messages from the different monitoring um, processes to produce some kind of one-page executive summary that can be used to present to the ministers of finance, something that clearly states the gaps and some recommendations. Great, thank you. And this group, the last, last but not least, was also dealing with monitoring. So did you come up with something similar? Or was this completely different? Um, so one of the things we came up with is what SWA can do in terms of monitoring is strengthening processes at a country level and, and helping to coordinate. So if some of changing some of the monitoring at a global level is quite a huge task, how can we support at country level the data collection and getting the Ministry of Finance, Planning and WASH to work together better so they ensure that their areas of interest are more harmonised as well? Okay, great. Uh, thank you very much. Um, I'm sort of hoping, Fiorella, that uh, you've managed to capture a little bit of that. I think it gives us uh, some of the direction of travel from, from your discussions. Um, you know, I have to confess that that was a completely unscientific and largely um, random uh, set of buzz groups that we organized there, so I'm sorry if the process didn't work particularly well, but I think sort of interview style, we just got a little bit of an insight into, into what you were looking at. So thank you for bearing with me on, on the process. Um, you've all done a tremendous job because, you know, it's 5.30 and we are finishing our, our session right now. So, uh, you know, I think uh, we should give ourselves a round of applause and, and a round of applause for the presenters. And, uh, you know, again, with my impeccable timekeeping, uh, yeah, unfortunately, we've run out of, of time for me to do my, you know, my, uh, my precy of, of, of the session, which was going to be, you know, wonderful and cogent and concise and four bullet points that would just blow your mind away. Um, no, unfortunately, I've not, I've not prepared uh, something that's going to try to capture the last three hours. Uh, we will um, endeavour to produce a summary of this session which I think will speak to the main uh, signals that we've heard during the last three hours. Um, I think that the point that I would like to make as we finish is that 
you know, SWA is looking for your input. I mean, we are SWA, we are all SWA, and we all have a stake in the work of the partnership. So we are moving forward, as you can see from the presentations, on things like the ways in which, as a partnership, we can support the political prioritization that our sector desperately needs. That as a partnership, there are processes around supporting planning that we can all feed into. And that as a partnership, we all have a role and a stake in getting the monitoring framework right. I think it's important to say that we don't have all, the, all of the answers and that it's very much a work in progress on a number of those things and I think you've seen that reflected here. You know, I think my parting shot is that we have a partnership meeting coming up in November in Joburg and there will be a consultation process on many of these issues between now and then. There, there are background papers which are already in process and which we would like to share with you as a sort of broad uh, community of practice and we want to make those those background papers much better informed from your experiences and your insights So this is a very open call for input from all of you as we move forward into what I think will be a watershed moment for for SWA uh, From November we then look to define the way forward for SWA and our work collectively on these three areas that we've spoken about today so I would encourage you to, to get involved in that process, to reach out to any of us in the room who have been presenting or to the SWA Secretariat, which is hosted by UNICEF, and get engaged in that process. Um, lastly, just want to thank, uh, again, all of the presenters who have uh, spoken today. Thank you for the time, for, for spending uh, three hours of of your busy uh, Sunday uh, at uh, World Water Week with us. And we look forward to continuing this dialogue. So thanks very much.